You know, if it's just not one thing, it's always another. It's always another thing. And you know what? I love it. I love I love the fact that my life is something that is continually going forward and progressing in a way that is adventurous, life-changing, and filled with wisdom and prosperity and goodness. And you know, we're the kinds of people on this channel that we don't really want any trouble. We really don't. Like we're just <laughs> we're just minding our own business. And whenever we try to just stand up for ourselves, people get pissed off about it. Other people can stand up for themselves just fine. It's okay. But you, oh, you stand up for yourself. Oh, 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 oh. who's this guy? Who's this girl? Oh. It's so annoying. It's so freaking annoying. And these people are just exposing themselves. And I really just do not give one flying fuck anymore. I'm just to the point to where I know that God will show me the truth. And God will show me the entire truth. And here's the thing about following God is <laughs> he's going to show you exactly what's going on. And it's up to you whether or not to accept it. Here's the thing, you all know deep down what's really going on inside of you, and you all really you all really know what's going on around you. It's just like you don't really know it until you know it. <laughs> you know? It's like you're someone that is just you really get what's going on. You intuitively understand what's happening, but you don't always understand to the fullest until you get there. You get to that moment, and there's the juxtaposition between intuition and thought and reality, and sometimes those are colliding, and sometimes those are there's some friction against it, but other times it is right smack on point in the middle. And you want to be right smack on point. Like, that's where you want to be. But at the same time, you want to be careful of those around you. And sometimes it's better to just act like a fool to keep the enemies away for the time being. And other times, it's better to just crush your enemies. And if you're going to crush your enemy, crush him totally. Don't go making empty promises or empty spiritual threats you know because this and i'm not saying i'm speaking to those other people that are exposing themselves i'm not speaking to you i don't want you to threaten anybody you don't need to threaten people you just need to set boundaries consequences for people's actions it's not about threatening people it's not about it's it's not about that boundaries are not about threatening it's more about providing a consequence that is going to affect the, not the person's well-being because you're not going to affect them negatively like on purpose, but you're going to remove certain goods or resources from this person. And yeah, that's going to affect their, their well-being overall, sure, but it's it's not going to be something that's going to directly inhibit them or inhibit you from growing. Like, they can grow on their own still. They can still get the resources. It's just they're going to have to work a little bit harder. Think about it like this. In the world right now, different countries have different kinds of resources. And if one country just stops providing that kind of resource, then the price of that resource is going to go up in other countries that do provide it but don't have as much. So for a good example of this was the oil situation and the gas where gasoline went up during the beginnings of the, uh, the battle between slash war between Ukraine and Russia, where Russia cut off 
oil supplies and gas supplies to other countries, causing the gas prices to rise. So that's a good example. So like we still have, like in America here, we still have oil. We still have the opportunity to get that kind of resource, but it's going to be not, it's going to be more expensive just because of the kind of resources now we have to have in order to get that resource. So it's the same kind of thing with people. Sometimes you just have to cut off certain resources and then that's how you go. That's how you grow. But these people, when they do expose themselves, what we want to say to them is, you know, we're not intimidated. You, you can threaten us. You can intimidate us. At least you can think so all you want. We're not intimidated. We're not going to be manipulated. And we refuse to disappoint God or our ancestors. And the reason that this is so is because we do not need to rely on other people or material things to fulfill ourselves inside. We can thrive. We don't just survive here. We, we thrive. And sometimes people are not going to like that about you. They're not going to like that you're thriving all on your own, some, like your lonesome self. You're just doing your thing. You're that lone wolf or maybe you've just got a small circle, whatever it is, and you're thriving and you're doing okay. You're fine on your own. And for some reason, that just pisses people off. And sometimes when you just try to do the right things, <laughs> when you just try to do the right things in life, all of a sudden, sometimes people just don't like it. Like, they just don't like it. Even if you are, like, supposed to be on the same team, so to speak. Like, I have to, I, I think at this moment in time, there are, a couple people that are acquaintances, you know, I'd have pleasantries with them, but I don't associate myself too much. And it's time that, and I don't even know if they know about this YouTube channel, to be honest, but it's time that to, to cut ties. Like I thought that there was something there, but really here's the reality. You're either building something with someone or you're not. That's the way I see it. And this is something that I mentioned in a consultation previously, just recently. And what I mean by that is that you're either trying to create something with people or they're not. Like you're either on the path of spiritual life or you're on the path of spiritual death. And people that are overtly aggressive and violent. I'm not saying that you can't be capable of that. Sure. I, by all means, as a man specifically, you absolutely must be capable of violence, but we're not calling for it. We're not calling for violence. We're not going to ever call for violence and the reason being is because in the Bible it says, be wise as serpents, but innocent as doves. So you have to be innocent as, a, as God's chosen people. Because you're going you're gonna to be innocent naturally. Like you're, uh, like, and I'm not saying that like you're innocent from everything because we've all sinned, but that's not an excuse to not claim wisdom or not to understand a deeper meaning behind things. It's important to be clear. It's important to not miscommunicate. A lot of the times, this is what pisses me off and this is what causes me to just not give a fuck anymore about these people that expose themselves is that they miscommunicate. And this is especially true with women. Modern women, that is. If you let them talk long enough, they're going to tell on themselves. <laughs> and all you have to do is pay attention. You're just an idiot if you don't pay attention. And so 
naturally. Miscommunication is going to be an, an inhibitor to success in any kind of relationship. And so if you just go around and feeling like, well, here, here's the thing, here's the thing. Those same kinds of women that are modern women that are not traditional, the liars, the manipulators, and men do this too, men do this too, but it pisses me off when I see a good man that is capable and that is ha- that has potential, and yet he's settling with a woman that genuinely doesn't give a fuck about him. Like, why would you want that as a man? Men not giving a fuck is attractive, but women, when they don't give a f- it's like, eh, you don't even want to deal with it. Like, it's it's just not natural. Whereas a man's indifference is going to be, like, men are naturally indifferent to one another, right? Women aren't like that. Women aren't naturally indifferent to one another. Women are natural enemies to one another. And that's a Schopenhauer, Arthur Schopenhauer. Or is it Nietzsche? Hmm. Someone can uh, correct me on that. <clears throat> it's either Arthur Schopenhauer or Nietzsche. But anyway, the point still stands is that men are naturally indifferent to one another and women are natural enemies. And the reason for that is because men can do and build together just fine and not have to compete for certain things um, when it comes to like territory and such because men understand that you have to work together in order to get somewhere sometimes and women aren't like that though women aren't always like that Uh, and specifically women are natural enemies because they're trying to compete for the men that can have the most most resources or the most influence over a tribe or a society. And so these these kinds of traits are going to be uh, of these kinds of working together traits, these kinds of of self-improvement traits that men have that are willing to sacrifice. Women don't always appreciate it. The reason that they don't always appreciate it is because men understand what other men have to go through to make certain sacrifices and to claim certain things like territory or even just to have a family. It takes a lot to have a family. And so as men, we're very territorial. We're about keeping the things that we have. Women aren't always like that. They're not always like that. And some some are, some are, but most of the time, in my experience, no, they're not like that. And most of the people that I've talked to agree with that as well, like in my consultations or just in general uh, in my community and just in the past. But these people will expose themselves one way or another in regards to how how they interact with you, how they interact with others, and how crazy they can really sound uh, if they're really not that clear on their communication. And so sometimes the biggest inhibitor to success is mis- miscommunication, and sometimes the biggest inhibitor to fulfillment is not accepting what is. And that's one of the reasons why it's better specifically as a man to just not give a flying F. (laughs) And the reason for it is because it's going to be what it's going to be. It is what it is. And there's nothing you can do to change it. Sometimes, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't, but there's no, there's no need to try to get something more out of it. That's not just not there. 
And that's why you just set your boundaries and you just remove yourself from the equation if you need to. And that's that. So with that being said, I hope this message was useful and insightful to someone out there. And peace be with you. Till next time.